I'm gonna be breaking down two scenes from Love is Blind season seven featuring Hannah and Leo. These two scenes are two very emotional scenes for the both of them. So we wanna break them down into their manipulation tactics and psychological tricks so that we can learn from them and use that knowledge to take with us into our own personal relationships. And I think this is the other guy I'm seeing, like I just think like I, like I love that man. And with you, like, I thought I could get there, but you have just a strong connection with someone else. And I want someone that's like 100% sure about me, you know? Have you and him decided this? Yeah. So what we first want to understand is what do both of them want out of this situation here? See, both Leo and Hannah have their own separate individual desires, which is what is leading to kind of this confusion and clash in this scene here. So you'll hear Hannah talk a lot about a few particular themes in these two scenes, okay? First is security. Um, because like, it's very difficult because like my other connection, like he like loves me. Like he has been sure about me. And like, you just weren't sure because you told me that you had the same exact feelings for me and the same connection you do with somebody else. Like that is like, that's not someone I want. Hannah's gonna talk about security from the standpoint of, hey, part of the reason I'm choosing my other partner here is because you haven't given me emotional security in our relationship to make me feel like I'm the person that you want. But let's take a look at what Leo's response is to hearing for the first time that Hannah is choosing Nick instead of him. Hannah, like, I want you. Like, I had no idea you were having all these feelings. I would have been here telling you how I want you, telling you how I want to marry you, telling you how I love you. Like, when I came in here and you said that, like, God, like, I literally felt like someone just ripped my heart out of my fucking chest. Like, you're like no one I've ever met. When we break this scene down, what we really have to understand here is Leo wants options. Leo, he likes Brittany, but he also likes Hannah. And so far in his relationships with both of them, he has not yet chosen which one he wants to be with. He's still a little bit emotionally confused. But here's the problem. He's the man in the relationship. He's meant to be the masculine energy in the relationship. He's meant to lead the relationship. So this isn't going to work for Hannah. This might be cool at the beginning of the pods. This might be cool when they're all just chit-chatting and getting to know each other and you still got your nice little fancy notebooks out. But at this point in the pod experience, people are all veering off into their own individual relationships and it's getting to be decision time. Do you feel like that I wasn't committed to you? Yeah. Well, I kind of felt the same with you because you were still dating someone else. What you're going to notice is that Leo is now in a position of desperation. He is now seeking the approval of Hannah because he's now feeling like he's about to lose her. So he now on the fly, because he wasn't expecting to have this conversation with Hannah, on the fly is now having to prove to her that he wants her. But it's ironic because in the process of him trying to prove how much he wants her, he actually still mentions his deeper desire, which is a desire for options, which is why you hear Leo saying time and time again, I like you so much, Hannah, and I also have this amazing connection with someone else. Well, you haven't made up your mind, I don't think, Leo. I gotta be honest with you, Hannah, like, my other connection is there. And, like, I have really strong feelings for her. And I have really strong feelings for you. <laughs> but what Hannah also wants is to feel desire. And of course she can't feel desired or truly desired by a guy when every time he talks about how amazing their life would be, she goes back into the lounge area with all the other women and she hears Brittany talk about how much Leo said he wants to be with her. What Hannah also wants out of this relationship is safe. Hannah is attempting to protect her heart. She doesn't want to put herself in a situation where she's in a relationship with a man who is unsure about her. That's not an emotional safe place because now as she gives her heart and her commitment to this man, this man can, you know, with all of his options that Leo has between Brittany and her, he can then say one day, hey, you know, I liked you and I like spending time with you and I'm so glad you gave me your entire heart and committed yourself to me, but 
now that I have options, I'm deciding that I'm gonna go with my choice of Brittany. Now, so Leo is now, for the rest of the scene, gonna be attempting to get Hannah back on the hook, because that's gonna mean that she doesn't choose me. I need her to choose me so that I can continue to have options here, right? Hannah, I, I'm so fucking into you. Like, like, God, like, like, how conclusively have you decided? Um. Now, the second thing that I want to discuss with you guys is emotionally overwhelming someone. It's like really confusing and I'm just, <laughs> this is horrible. Now, let's talk about something as it relates to emotionally overwhelming someone um, by talking about a different concept, which is called the paradox of choice. Let's imagine in scenario number one, I give you the option of choosing two shirts, okay? So you can either choose a blue shirt right here, okay? Or you can choose a black shirt, all right? So these are your two choices. This is a pretty simple choice. You might think, oh, which one makes me look better? Which one slims me down more? Uh, which one complements my skin color more? Imagine in scenario number two, okay? In which scenario number two, I give you the option to wear a black shirt, a blue shirt, but I also give you the option to wear a red shirt, I give you the option to wear an orange shirt, a beige shirt, a pink shirt, and I give you the option to wear a green shirt. Here's the thing though, even though I gave you more choices, it actually made the process of making a decision on any one of those choices a lot harder. See, when you only have two choices, it becomes very easy to pick between one of the two. But when you have so many different options, it becomes very difficult to narrow down how you're gonna pick any one of those options and which one is best. The same concept applies in the tactic that Leo is using here to freeze Hannah in place. What he's attempting to do is bombard her with so many different emotions that it freezes Hannah in place here and Hannah doesn't know what to do she doesn't know what to think. All she can do is sit there and hear whatever it is Leo has to say. What would you say? What would you say if I asked you to marry me right now? What would you say? Oh my God. I want you to be my fucking wife, Hannah. Please answer me, Hannah. Like, is it too late? When Hannah is so emotionally overwhelmed with the bombardment of intense emotion that Leo is throwing at her all at once, now all of a sudden Hannah's like, I don't know what to think, I don't know what to feel, and this is the perfect opportunity for Leo to sneak his way in and say, Hannah, if you don't know what to think or what to feel, I'll tell you exactly what to think and exactly what to feel. And in this case, what Leo wants is, I want you to want me to and want me as much as I've been wanting you in this relationship. So for point number three, we have here no commitment. Now, the commitment that I'm talking about that doesn't exist is on Leo's part because- A lot. Like, I feel like I've been spiraling. Like, I don't oh know up God. from down because like, it's very difficult because like my other connection, like he like, loves me like he has been sure about me and like you just weren't sure because you told me that you had the same exact feelings for me and the same connection you do with somebody else like so everyone kind of has their own individual basket of what they need the most and what is the most important to them at this uh, particular time so what hannah wants is for leo to make the choice to be here with her okay he wants Leo's mind and heart, okay, we'll say, so we'll say Leo's heart, to be with her totally, right? And utterly knowing that he wants Hannah and knowing that he wants to be with Hannah. Now, obviously, what Brittany wants is for Leo's heart to be here. So in Leo's mind, what he actually wants at this point is to be here, okay? Now, this is great for Leo because Leo gets the opportunity to kind of choose and decipher which one is best for him, which one likes him the most, which one has the most to offer him. But like I said, at this point in the pod experience, this is time for decisions. And as a man, if you're not making decisions, it leaves the women in your life feeling a lack of security, a lack of emotional safety, and they feel like they can't trust themselves with you and their heart with you because they don't know if one day you're gonna abandon them for 
the other girl, or Brittany in this case, abandon uh, her for Hannah, or for whatever reason, there's a third girl that exists out over here that Leo's gonna say, oh, actually, I want this girl instead. You understand what I'm saying? Hannah has become a little bit more smart and self-aware that if she continues allowing Leo's heart to lie in this overlap here, eventually, when Leo makes a decision, he might go over here instead of going over here, because Leo at some point is gonna have to make a decision. But in this scenario in which Leo's heart goes over here, Hannah will be left with nothing, right? And when she's left with nothing, what is she gonna do? She's gonna be out of a relationship, out of an opportunity for love. So point number five here is gonna be about saving face. Now, what you're gonna notice in this next scene here is that Leo has come to the conclusion that, hey, I'm fighting a losing battle. Hannah clearly knows that she wants to be with Nick and she has not chosen me. Now, I have to kind of batten down the hatches and solidify my fortress to make sure that I don't lose absolutely everything, i.e. lose all of my options. Um, I'm so sorry, Hannah. Like, the way I treated you last night to raise my voice when you were in such a vulnerable state, it was unbecoming of me as a man. And like, honestly, I will regret how I acted for the rest of my days. Instead of approaching Hannah, from the standpoint of, hey, I want to be with you and I want you so badly and I want you and I want this, he then approaches it from the standpoint of, hey, you know what, I thought this over and I actually don't want to be with you. The fact is we're, we're not compatible. Honestly, like, Nick is everything that, like, I'm not. Like, he's calm, he's collected, he's wise. Personally, I think he's, like, more compassionate than I'll ever be. Nick is better for you. So let's break down why he approached this so differently because I know some of you watched that and thought to yourself, weren't you just saying the other day how much you wanted her, want to marry her, you want to propose right now? How are you doing this much of a switch up? So let's look at this idea here and this concept here. So when things are neutral, meaning when uh, Leo is good with both Hannah and Brittany, his value is up in Brittany's eyes and his value is up in Hannah's eyes. Now, Here's a very important thing that happens after and during the conversation that Leo has with Hannah that kind of is a Hannah essentially breaking up with him. So if there's a breakup in terms of this happening and everyone knowing about this breakup, what's going to happen is in Hannah's eyes, his value is obviously down because Hannah's breaking up with him. And once Brittany hears about this, his value is gonna go down in Britney's eyes as well. Why is that? Because if Britney is understanding that Leo is essentially dating both her and Hannah, now that she hears that Leo has been broken up with by Hannah because his value is down er, in Hannah's eyes, all of a sudden Britney's gonna say to herself, well, damn, if now I'm with the guy who got broken up with by Hannah, the, because, you know, her, his value is down in Hannah's eyes, why am I going to be with the guy who has lower value? So all of a sudden, subconsciously, Brittany, or sorry, uh, Leo's value might go down in, in uh, Brittany's eyes. But Leo doesn't want that. Remember, what does Leo want? Leo wants options. It's true. I, I've known that this whole entire time. He's my person, you know? That's exactly how I feel about Brittany. I know what I want. You know what you want you and Nick are meant to be. Leo wants the ability to be able to choose Hannah or Brittany. Now he's become nervous about the fact that if uh, uh, Brittany is aware of the breakup that happened with Hannah, he's gonna be worried that Brittany's uh, value or perspective of him might go down. So what does Leo attempt to do to save face? If there's one thing I, I would ask you to do for me mm -hmm. is I would like beg of you to tell Brittany that like, it really was mutual and that like I really genuinely care for her and like I'm honestly like I'm scared like I don't know what she's gonna say like I'm scared that she's gonna think that I'm choosing her because like she's my second option he says tell nobody right because if she tells nobody she meaning Hannah tells nobody then what's gonna happen is Hannah's value right Hannah's uh, uh, perspective and the, the value that she believes that Leo has obviously goes down because she doesn't want to be with Leo anymore. But in this scenario, Brittany, what Brittany feels about Leo and the value that he has stays up. And so this is the proposition that uh, essentially Leo has come up with in the time that he's been away from Hannah and said to himself, well, when we're neutral, they both see my value. 
But if Hannah breaks up with me now and she tells Brittany and everyone knows about this and knows that Brittany said or Hannah said that she doesn't want me, now my value is going to be down in both of their eyes and I might not get either because Brittany might come to me and say, I don't want to be your second choice. I'm going to go with so-and-so or I'm going to go start talking to someone else. So uh, Leo attempts to make it clear, Hannah, please, let's, you know, I don't want you either. I don't want to be with you. I actually think you're so much more better suited for Nick instead. And he tries to play this up. This is a manipulation tactic because... Hannah, we both broke up with each other, but like, I just hope like, if you like, I don't know, if you just like, let her know like how fucking much, like I'm sitting here talking to you and all I can think about is just wanting to get down on one knee for Brittany. Like it's literally all I want to do. Like I literally... Then why did you do that last night? What Leo is attempting to do here is solidify the narrative between him and Hannah that, hey, uh, you know, I think that this isn't working out, you know? And in fact, before you even open your mouth to try to break up with me, I'm going to break up with you and I'm going to explain to you all the reasons why you don't need to be with me and you need to be with this other guy. So he's essentially flipping this script on her so that Hannah, right? Because remember, he's trying to implant a feeling and a thought inside Hannah. Then Hannah can then say, oh yeah, you know what? You're right oh yeah, you know what, I'm so glad you realized that, hoping that she'll go back and she'll say, you know, I didn't really break up with him. I think we both realized it wasn't going to work out. And Leo told me that I should be with Nick. So what does that make Leo look like? It makes him look like a heroic figure. I told you, Hannah, because I care about you so much and I know who the right guy is for you and I know what I want, that you should go and be with Nick. I was mad, but like, I realized that like Brittany is who my heart wanted, who my heart has always wanted. Like I literally, I wanted, I told the producers in the morning to cancel our date. That's not what she told me last night. And I know that I need to go be with Brittany, right? Because now what he's attempting to do is I want to avoid coming to the same conundrum that I was in with Hannah because she felt a lack of security with me. And I want to make sure that when I go to Brittany, she feels like I chose her, not like she's a second option to me. That way, my value in Brittany's eyes stays high and I still end up with a wife after this experience, okay? Instead of ending up with nothing. Now, in our next uh, breakdown video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what happened between Leo and Brittany. 